5 is the base. Again, exponent refers to the number of times the base is multiplied by itself. The base tells what number is being multiplied. Power is the product of multiplying a number by itself. So here, 5 raised to 3 is equal to 125, which means that you multiply 5 by itself 3 times. Now, let's understand the different laws of exponents. Last time, I na-discuss ko na nga sa inyo yung law of exponents for product. So, i -re recall ulit natin yan today. So, for us to understand it better, first, syempre, meron tayong dapat tandaan that in any variable, it has a numerical coefficient of 1 and an exponent of 1. Meron din tong denominator of 1. So, kahit hindi na natin isulat yung 1, understood na yun. Now, let's proceed with the different law of exponent. So, number 1, yung product of powers. When multiplying numbers or expressions with the same bases, just copy the common base and add their corresponding exponents. So, kapag pareha sila ng letter or variable, we just add the exponent. At dahil product, ibig sabihin, we will multiply their corresponding numerical coefficients. So, study the following examples. <coughs> If they have the same basis, you just add the exponents. Kapag wala naman silang kaparehas, you just simplify expressions with exponents. So, dito mahalaga na alam mong i-group ang bawat uh, coefficients at variables. At mahalaga rin na huwag natin kalimutan ang rule of signed numbers. Next, we have power of powers. When a power is raised to another power, just copy the base and multiply the exponents. So, na-discuss ko na rin yan. Panoorin nyo na lang sa isang video. So, again, these are the examples. Next, we have x to the m times y to the n raised to a. So, this is power of the product. So, in this case, to find the power of the product, just use the distributive property and multiply each exponent. Again, na-discuss ko na rin yan sa unang video. So, panoorin nyo po. Ilalagay ko yung link dyan sa description box. Now, let's proceed with another law of exponent. x raised to m divided by x raised to n is equal to x raised to m minus n. So, this is called as quotient of powers when dividing when dividing expressions with exponents, just copy their common base and subtract their corresponding exponents. So, alam naman natin na ang opposite ng quotient ay product. Ang product, opposite ng product ay quotient. Kung sa product ay nag a tayo ng exponent, dito sa quotient ay nagsasubtract tayo ng exponent. So, ganun din, we divide the numerical coefficient and then simplify variables with exponent. So, example, we have 7 raised to 5 divided by 7 raised to 3. So, since pareha sila na 7, so we just subtract their exponents. So, 7 raised to 5 minus 3. So, 5 minus 3 is 2. And then, 
7 squared is equal to 7 times 7. So, that is equal to 49. So, another example, 12a raised to 6 divided by 4a raised to the negative 3. So, divide first the numerical coefficients. So, 12 divided by 4 is 3. And then, subtract 6 minus negative 3. So, that is equal to... 3a raised to the 9 power. So again, we divide the numerical coefficient and then simplify the exponent following the rules of signed numbers. Okay, next we have x raised to m divided by y raised to n raised to a. So, this is called as power of a quotient. To find the power of a quotient, just distribute the exponent to both numerator and denominator and follow the power of powers rule. Exponent of 0. x raised to 0 is always 1. Any number or expressions when raised to 0 is always equal to 1. Dito sa zero exponent, dapat alam niyong ma-identify maigi kung kaninong base or anong base lang ang nakaraised into zero exponent. And for the last law of exponent, we have the negative exponent. So, x raised to the negative n is equal to 1 over x raised to n. So, dito again, dapat mahalagan alam mo ang base Kung kanino lang nakaraise ang exponent na negative. So, so, to simplify expressions with negative exponent, yung base lang na merong negative exponent, kapag nasa numerator siya, ilalagay natin siya sa denominator to make it positive and vice versa. So, pansinin nyo guys, sa number 1, ang m lang ang nakaraise into 4. So, again, understood ito ay may numerical coefficient na 1, kaya meron tayong 1 sa numerator. And then, sa number 2, ang b lang ang nakaraise into t negative 3, kaya si b lang to the third power ang ang nilagay natin sa denominator. Don't 
love only take our time to make love. Promise you I'm not wasting time in the bathtub. We don't gotta rush, no. Never gonna rush, no. My life's in a slow mo, always in a slow mo. I still show up on time. Stay a minute, another minute. Hold on a second, I love this moment.